Uh, welcome to the press conference after the men's sprint in Solskja Hollow. We have uh, with us the winner from Norway, Vettel Christiansen. Second place went uh, to Simon Testeur, uh, representing France. And in third place, representing Germany, Roman Reis. Uh, Vettel, there's always a Norwegian in the middle. Uh, for you, it's the first victory in the World Cup. Congra congratulations. Thank you. How does it feel to have reached this, this goal now? Yeah, of course, it's uh, unbelievable for me. Uh, a lot of emotions. I've been doing biathlon since I was six years old. So you can say I waited 20 years for this uh, moment. Uh, it's been a lot of uh, ups and downs on the way. But uh, when I stand here today as a winner, I, I forgot all the downs. So yeah, I'm very happy. You came in second in the individual last uh, week in Kenmore. Did this uh, second place give you the confidence that a victory is possible when Johannes Tinius might have a weaker day? Yeah, uh, sort of. I think the individual uh, last week was uh, the best performance uh, of the year, especially on skiing. I've never been that close to, to Johannes on the, on the 15K. But, you know, Johannes is Johannes. I think <laughs> he will always, always win. <laughs> Uh, but when when I reached uh, the standing shooting today, I, I saw he was still in the penalty loop. So I thought, yeah, maybe today is the day to shoot clean and, and go for the win. And for sure it was. So talking a bit about the ups and downs, you mentioned um, you have been one of the best juniors in the world. You won the Rookie of the Year award a couple of years back. Then the last couple of years have been ups and downs in the IBU Cup, in the World Cup. Now you have your breakout uh, season. Do you feel like now you have made it in the World Cup? Yeah, of course, uh, I had a pretty good junior career uh, and I was on my way to the World Cup level with a 10th place in uh, Hochfilsen as a junior. And then I got this uh, virus, uh, so I had to stop training for, uh, yeah, I think eight months without training. And I used a lot of time to, to build my body back in shape and, and to, to reach this level. So I think I did it, uh, I was really careful and did it really slowly, but... Uh, today I am really happy with the way I did it. I think, yeah, that's why I stand here today, and I'm not retired. <laughs> Congratulations again, Vettel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Simon. First uh, podium this season. You have been quite close a couple of times already. How relieved are you that it has now worked out? Yeah, it's good to to be on the, on the podium uh, today uh, because I was close uh, all all the year, but. No, uh, I just leave the moment. It's uh, just uh, happiness. Just that. <laughs> it's just uh, good to be to be here today. Uh, you had the best final lap today. Did you have a special strategy? Did you learn anything from the women's race yesterday? Yeah, I watched the the, the girl race yesterday, and I think uh, this track is uh, very hard. With uh, altitude, it's not easy, and the ski condition was not. Uh, the best today, but in the I, I start uh, the race with uh, not uh, not full full gas in the <laughs> in the beginning to 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 give all uh, in the last lap, <laughs> like always. So what is what is the strategy for tomorrow then? I don't know. We have uh, 20 seconds with uh, Vitale in to to the third place. We will uh, try to together tomorrow. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Uh, congratulations again, Simon. Um, Roman, this is your first uh, podium in the World Cup. How does it feel after this uh, dramatic competition today? Yeah, this is an awesome day for me because I really didn't expect it. it. Especially these days with some uh, weak performances uh, on the track in Kenmore. So I felt pretty, pretty strong today. I uh, had kind of a, yeah, a easy feeling in the uphills. Um, so this is my biggest success so far. And I'm really happy about it. And uh, yes, it's just great. Uh, did, you, did your coaches inform you on the final lap? I, you, you were um, behind Eric, and, but then you made 25 seconds. Um, you won 25 seconds on this final lap uh, compared to Eric. So did they push you and were you always informed about the standing? Yeah, I knew when I left the, uh, the range after the standing shooting that I'm on the fourth place. Um, 
but no one told me how far it is uh, or how close I am to the podium. So I think everyone expected that I'm uh, falling uh, back or <laughs> lose some places. Um, but after the half of the last loop, um, they told me I'm, I'm coming closer. And over the last up till I heard, the gap is only about three seconds to Eric. And then I ju just pushed everything I had uh, until the finish line. And there, there I saw that this is the podium for me. Did you already talk to Eric or apologize? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't think that I have to apologize. He has a few podiums more than I have, so that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> So um, you have started this season in, in the IBU Cup only, and then you made it to the World Cup. Now you're on the podium in the World Cup. So what, what has changed over the, the couple, last couple of weeks? Yeah, I, I think not so much. Um, we had a qualification in, in fall on roller skis. Um, I just didn't achieve uh, to qualify for World Cup. Um, I think I had some good races um, in December in IBU Cup. So I made it to the World Cup. Uh, now in the new year and like I already said before I I uh, haven't had such a good feeling the last week so it's kind of su a surprise for myself um, yeah don't know how to explain this but sometimes it just works out all the best for tomorrow also for you Oman thank you very much Thanks. are there any questions from the audience seeing none this concludes our press conference thank you very much